Hello, I'm Vine and welcome to the last episode of Catch Emo Let's Play. Yes, today I'm rushing whole endgame in one episode. Plan for today is as follows. Decrease number of protectorates in Galadex League, catch some Vine Pops, pacify any threat to the League, and of course, win. About decreasing the number of protectorates. We have quite a few vassals with only one planet that have no chance to catch up with Galadex tech level. Technically, we could just ignore it since the league is about pop fights and not efficiency, but the tech level is so low that they start to resemble primitives and we can't have that. So, Great Transfotician block. Your autonomy is revoked. Prepare for integration and redistribution of your space to the nearest neighbor. Technological acquisition okay. successful. Okay. Apparently Vine knows that they are on the to-do list. In a smart move, they prepared fair and peaceful vassalization pact, and we are rejecting it just because capturing vine pops via violence is more efficient and more aligned with league policies. Also, have you seen it? They elected Akajit as vine. Weird. Okay, next to integrate is Transfotician Covenant. Please do not resist. It's for the sake of your pop trainers.
Another one is Transfotician Blessed Union. Surrender autonomy of your icy planet and embrace duty-free shipping. Meanwhile, let's take care of Andigong Enlightened Kingdom. They are the uplifted Gaia World Stone Age civilization. Due to their disconnection to our other vassals, we cannot redistribute the space after integration. So, they are getting protectorate deal upgrade with hope that additional resources let them catch up to us in far future. Same deal will be given to every protectorate that can't be easily redistributed as well. About threats to the league, Regime of Abyss took the crisis back, so we will declare them a crisis and solve the problem permanently. Another empire that gets the upgraded protectorate deal is Transfotician Covenant. Do not confuse them with Transfotician Covenant that was integrated earlier. They are completely different political entities. They have two planets instead of one and are cut off from the league space by small independent Fotician empires. The last protectorate to integrate is Prince Electorate of the Buavlans. They are the biggest, so it will take time, but we will finally be done after them. What? Ah, yes, rebels. As always, there must be someone unhappy with new administrative oversight. Shame that they are not also self-aware enough to not declare war on the strongest federation in the galaxy. The rebellion have been crushed and we got the system. Unfortunately for them, it's going straight to the previous owners. Ok, since protectorates have been dealt with, let's claim vine system and prepare for vassalization war.
Oh my god, they have chosen even weirder Zeno for Vine. Nonetheless, Vine, we gonna bat. I wish you the best, because Lig will crush you. Formal endgame is here, and now we have one awakened empire on the threats to pacify list. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Vine got successfully vassalized, Lavinor Divine Imperium created even more border gore inside the league, and we finally have access to the last pops we need for our collection. Of course Vine goes to the Hisui, and there is no much to say about them because Vine as they are, everyone can see. Time to evolve Vine, and since we cut them as psionic pops already, we will just adapt them to arctic climate of Hisui. Alongside the vine, we also cut some psionic lavinors. Now, we can evolve them to ascended lavinors, who, after years of rigorous meditation, finally grew the roots of their souls into the great garden. Now, sipping power and knowledge straight from the god emperor of lavinor kind, they can overwhelm opponents with deadly psionic attacks. With this, we finally finished our main objective of this Let's Play and cut all the pops that I made from my other Let's Plays. But the game is not finished yet, we still have some things to do. One of these things is to get rid of successor canate on our borders. It should be quite easy as our vassals claim the entire space.
The race to claim L Cluster starts now and it gained first priority on our list. Seriously, when L Cluster is opened, drop everything you do and claim Terminal Egress system for any cost. This is the most strategically important system in the game. Terminal egress secured. I repeat, terminal egress secured. Oh, and we eradicated a successor canate along the way. Nice. Grey Tempest eradicated and L Cluster is ours. Standard procedure of terminal egress fortification is of course to build as much habitats as you can in there. And before I say anything else about it, do you see psionic robots on this list? Psionic. Robots. This game is drunk. Anyway, habitats are not planets and don't break our 10 planet limit for this let's play. Of course, that is only if we won't keep any organic pops in there. Diplomatic alert. And look at that, the regime of Abyss was finally declared a crisis. Time to delete them. Now, we finally have enough influence to negotiate a vassal agreement with Vine. They will be our league's bulwark, mostly because they are so far away from Galadex that they need to be able to protect themselves.
וואו, 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 ו Regime of Abyss is no more. With this finished, let's skip forward to the war with Awakened Fallen Empire. Normally, I would just show you time-lapse gameplay as always, but this time literally nothing special happened over a span of this 20 years. I just prepared the three teams of fleets and that's it. And about them. Don't copy this encycling maneuver that I prepared here. Awakened Empire fleets are much stronger than regular Fallen ones. They easily broke through and destroyed a lot of my ships. Of course, I managed to get back control over the situation quite quickly, but new ships cost a lot of time and resources. And this would be a real tragedy if the crisis would attack the galaxy right now. And of course, rebels in Lavinor Divine Imperium. Those plantoids just can't get their pops in line, can they? Let's wrap it up quickly and return to Fallen Empire Capital. Planetary pacification protocols. Okay, initiated. that's done. Now let's skip to the crisis. The crisis set for this let's play was Praetorin times 10 strength. And in hindsight, I should make them times 25 because Praetorin are the weakest crisis there is. Seriously, you can easily counter most of their weapons with some strike craft and finish the job with energy weapons. And remember that Neutron Launchers, the best weapon in the game, is an energy weapon. So, with full prep, encounter right here is just walk in the park. Now, technically, this is the win. The last infested world cleansed. Praetorin are no more. But for some reason, game made me wait 
over a year for the crisis to end. Galaxy is set. Time to skip to windscreen. Galadex won the game just with the points collected from vassals. Unfortunately, we didn't take first place in economy nor technology, mostly because let's play limit of 10 planets. But overall, this was a fun game. So, what's next? Not a let's play. I'm going to make build videos, time lapses and overthinking. See you later!